Uh, this is Roger Scheib of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And huzzah! Happy Clue Day. Uh, this clue is, is a little different. Uh, I can say that. It's called the STC, STC key. And uh, let's, let's get into it. So, uh, this particular clue is very unique. Uh, it's a combination, I would say, of the... Uh, crypto, crypto cryptography key clues that have uh, been going on in the game, as well as a bit of logic and uh, or internet sleuthing, if you will, and marketing. Uh, something that I would say within the last ten clue drops, the last ten keys, there has been a significant emphasis on the part of the game makers to try to create some buzz about the game. And I've discussed it in previous videos about my um, feelings on that. I understand it. You're trying to get your product out there. You're trying to get people excited about the game. You're trying to diversify your players. Uh, we're still fairly, fairly early in. Uh, we're almost about to reach, I would say, uh, 50 keys here pretty soon by the end of July. And you're trying to keep, create a long-term uh buzz, if you will, or long-term um, sustainability if this is something you're going to do as a company, is uh, these um, internet uh, puzzle games centered around Bitcoin, centered around technology. So we have one of these, and I found it a little strange a little bit at first, but as I thought about it more, I, I found that this is a very, very tongue-in-cheeky type of uh, clue and in particular for this key uh, simply for, for the fact that you have to literally go kind of down a, a cryptocurrency rabbit hole and it deals with coin market cap which has a very sordid history within the uh, cryptocurrency space particularly when it came to the uh, onslaught of the uh, whether you liked it or not the onslaught of the ICOs that on top of their banners a lot of them a lot of people were able to advertise uh, order to in order to like many exchanges to be able to get on coin market cap you have to pay the website person to get your coin listed all sorts of all sorts of stuff so clearly the game makers have put some pretty pretty heavy investment into this particular game because it's not um, cheap to get listed on the coin market cap even for something that is a bit of a, a joke if you will because I don't really think there is a token but but let's, let's, let's look, look at, at look, look at the clue itself. Uh, let's look at the clue. Uh, let's look at the the hints that we have to follow and the trail and um, kind of wrap this up. So here we go. Okay, so quick clue update. The let's see, the Earth key right up there is still unfound. Uh, the zero knowledge key and the philanthropic keys. They are pretty much ending towards the end of this month, so there's about a, one more week on the philanthropic key and one more week on the zero knowledge key. There hasn't been any announcement or any progress on the part of the people doing the contests for the zero knowledge key that any other uh, keys have been distributed. So far, it's only been one out of three. Uh, the philanthropic key we had Satoshi Cipher Group has um, earned the, the first two uh, with that contest key uh, the third week, I think. So, uh, we're recording this on Sunday. Uh, that's the last day for whoever's the, the most giver for that particular key. Uh, the street key uh, has all the way to July 29th. The world key, I do know that there has been different groups have been able to find uh, the different locations. I think that wraps up pretty much in the 21st or 26th. I expect that to flip over to found where all the different uh, keys have been found, the geolocation keys, plus a mini, um, I want to say contest, but a mini task of like documenting how you found the, the geolocation keys, you get a special key. So there's four keys there. Then you have the pair key, which is August 15th. And now you have this new key, this new clues drop, which is called the SEC key. So it says, happy birthday. So happy birthday. The Sushi Treasure Coin entered our space-time continuum 23 years ago. So that puts it around 
2018, 99, 98, 97, 96. Almost as obtrusively as a cat burglar creeping over a windowsill. Invented, which is in quotations, by time sliding technologist Renee Lambert. After being accidentally sent back from the 23rd century, STC is more scalable than the Bitcoin. See, when I first read it, I'm going to finish it and I'll have to give my thoughts. Uh, is more scalable than Bitcoin, has more robust smart contracts than Ethereum, and better promotion than Tron. STC uses a novel proof of work algorithm that is both basic and CPU resistant, featuring puzzles which are only solvable by meat and bones human beings, but who cares? Interested? Join our birthday party at CoinMarketCap. So when I saw uh, the, the name Rain, Renee Lambert after being accidentally sent back from the 23rd century, I thought of this really old sci-fi show, uh, Buck Rogers. Uh, I think he went to the 24th century. Uh, he's like an astronaut that got frozen or lost and ends up waking up in the future. So that, that jumped into my head with that. And then also a little bit about Star Trek because it's uh, San Diego Comic Con. A lot of Star Trek news has been dropping. Um, <laughs> and this is where it gets kind of tongue in cheek. Uh, Tron has a mixed reputation in the crypto space. Um, Ethereum, same thing. Bitcoin, even Bitcoin has some, some issues too. But uh, these are kind of like pretty well known. You know, Bitcoin and Ethereum are like the top dogs, but Tron is getting up there of being known. And then there's always a the thing within the cryptocurrency space of being ASIC resistance to kind of decentralized mining to where people use graphic cards to be able to uh, mine for whatever particular token or coin that they're trying to mine. Uh, so this is something that Monero did where they did an update to try to be ASIC resistance. Uh, there's a lot going back and forth about that, whether it's something that should be done, if ASIC is a, you know, a natural progression of securing a network. Um, up and down, stuff like that uh, going on in the space. And it's just, you know, what are we doing here? We're solving puzzles uh, for this particular game, and that's something you have to do with the Satoshi Treasure coin. So join us for our coin market cap party. So let us go to coin market cap. So this is the coin market cap site. If you type in STC, which is the initials for the coin, you will get Satoshi's treasure coin. And then here it is. Uh, they have um, a little uh, cat symbol here, which has been a consistent symbol throughout the game. It's on a lot of the uh, geolocation flyers. You will see that cat. Of course, the internet loves cats. Um, it has two websites listed here. And then it has this chart, and I think this chart really, uh, if you look at any other coin, let's look at um, Bitcoin. It will have this chart, as you can see here, which charts the prices, pricing. This is the historical chart of Bitcoin, where you can look at the price from all the way back to, you know, zero dollars, if you will, from its and it only goes up to about a little bit between mid-July 13th. And that's because they get their data from, um, I believe it's Coin Center or Coin Market. It's, it's a, uh, I, the name is escaping me. It's one of the main Bitcoin uh, news sites. It uh, has an historical chart they kept tracking. I believe they started in uh, the 2013. So we have about a six-year chart going on about uh, Bitcoin and its market cap, its price, in USD and BTC, its 24-hour volume. You can really play with the chart, if you will. And you see similar fashion, but it's dots and these waves and colors, which I'm pretty sure is a, a clue here. Um, if you look a little right here, Satoshi Treasure Coin statistics, you know, there's no doubt on the price or, or, or the ROI, uh, return of investment, market ranking, market cap, 24 hour volume, circulation supply just all the way down here. So no doubt on that. And then you can go to buy and you can go to crypto.com. I'm going to click on that site. 
um, coin all, which is an exchange, wallet, Grodia, these are actual legit companies and places, uh, get instant credit line and interest, Nexo wallet, uh, crypto.com again. The thing with coin all digital asset exchange, you can't be right here. Uh, you can't be a U.S. citizen or in the territories and enlist all of the um, places that you basically can't be a customer of. And you're, you're really starting to see a lot of that with a lot of these different exchanges. Uh, recently added tokens here. Uh, let's see. Charts. So you you can kind of go down this rabbit hole to see if there's any clues here with that. Um, this is a wallet. I guess you can download it. It's just it is, you know, it's a very legitimate uh, activity going on here to the side, and then it has these two websites. So it has the coin right here and two websites. Website two is the Twitter page for Toshi Cipher. So right here. Um, and their most recent tweet was this. Uh, Bitcoin is the Great Wall, the Colossus of Rose, the Pyramids of Our Time. Only instead of crumbling into ruins, it becomes stronger over time thanks to the magic of incentives. So this is a block stream transmission feed. I'm not sure if it's much of a hint or just a recent tweet that came back from July 16th. And then if you go to here, to the first website, you get the decryption page. So off the bat, we don't actually have to find the URL through the hints, uh, or break down of the clue, it's already provided for us. We have to once again find the passphrase, which is very much like the numeric key, was finding the passphrase and then decrypting to find the key. And from the site, Renee Lambert was a person they mentioned. So let's look him up real quick. And I guess we're going to have to start going some internet sleuthing about this guy. So, there may be other additional clues within the phrasing here, but right off the bat, we have this, this part right here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how you can break this down. I'm sure better minds than myself have already figured this out. And even if the coloring, like the red dots and the yellow dots, mean anything, uh, we have a decryptor page. And yeah, there's a Satoshi's treasure coin, if you will, whether it's an actual something in existence on the blockchain or something that they're going to be dispersing, if you will. It's, it's there, it's here. But um, yeah, so that is our clue. Uh, we have to figure out something about the Satoshi treasure coin and be able to decrypt the page. So that's it. Uh, happy clue day. Uh, good luck to the hunters. And um, my name is Arosha Scheib. This is Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And uh, on with the hunt. You can find me on Instagram at Satoshi's underscore treasure, on Twitter at Satoshi's Hunters. You can listen to the podcast version of uh, this show uh, and at Anchor FM Haroja Scheib. Uh, the name of the podcast is the name is the same as the, the YouTube channel, which is Satoshi's Treasure Hunters, and you can find that on any podcast um, app that you utilize. I will also enclose the uh, RS feed for those who are old school and want an RS feed. And you can, uh, if you like what you, you hear, RC, uh, help support uh, the channel by either uh, sending some funds to uh, Haroja on Cash App or directly some Bitcoin on the QR code and the address below. 
Or you can support the podcast uh, show, which in a sense is supporting the channel through Anchor FM, Hiroshi Shibe uh, support.